doing pretty well. I mean, it's it 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 a tough workout. It was a good workout. Uh, we had a lot of big guys that go work the guards pretty hard. Uh, it was it was a good workout. The second day, one of you guys would come over with some blood on your shirt. It's pretty physical out there, huh? Yeah, I mean, every workout is. This one wasn't as bad as some other ones can get. But, uh, I mean, everybody fight, everybody's fighting for a job. So, uh, it's going to get, get, a lot of things are going to happen. Talk about the other other workouts you've been to and how this one compared. Uh, I've been to uh, I've been to a few other workouts. This one, I mean, this one compares. This is the first time I've had all big guys in the workout. Usually there's two guards, two big guys. Uh, this, that's the only real difference uh, in this workout compared to the other ones. And how many more do you have to go? Um, I'm not sure. Four, I think four or five. I just take one one day at a time right now. That's kind of kind of how we, life is going right now. What's your thoughts on their system and just and how you would fit into a system like this? So, I mean, I think uh, I mean I, it's a, it would be a dream come true to come here. I mean, this is a, a place that everybody wants to come to. With the system, I feel like it would fit me perfectly. I mean, it's something that uh, I mean, it would be a, it would just be a dream come true to be here. <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about your experience at Duke and how that helped you and, and Coach K. Yeah, I mean, it, it helped me immensely. It helped me, uh, helped me a lot on and off the court. Just uh, I learned a lot in two years, uh, more than I, I think I've learned more in the last two years than I did the, the previous years of my life. So uh, it was it was a great experience. I saw you talking with, with Phil Weber after you were shooting a little bit about technique and technical aspects. How much do you pick up, that kind of stuff do you pick up along the way? A, a lot. I mean, I try to learn. Uh, I'm always trying to learn as much as I can to get better. You know? So anything that, anything that can help me, uh, that's what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to learn. So uh, I try to pick up something to do uh, as, much as, much, much, as much as I can. Coach, obviously, uh, Mike D'Antoni, you're close, being on the you know, coaches and the coach on the U.S. team. What, any thoughts there on just what, what, what coaches have said to you about, about Mike and, and everything like that? The uh, we haven't really talked really talk too much about Phoenix in particular. I know that uh, after he came back from USA Basketball last year, he liked, he liked a lot of the stuff that Coach D'Antoni ran. He tried to implement a little bit of it uh, at Duke this year. Yeah, I, yeah, probably. Just from what from what my agent is saying, something will probably have to happen. But I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't even mind uh, if something if nothing happened. I came to, all the way at 24. Uh, it wouldn't bother me too much because uh, at the end of the day, this would be a great place to play. But you feel just by your decision to come back for another year now, and, and where you are in the draft compared to what they were saying a year ago, which you would have been. Yeah, uh, I feel a lot better. I mean, wherever I go, I mean, the team's getting a better play. And, uh, you can't lose what you don't have, so that's uh, that's kind of how I feel about uh, what the, I mean. What people are talking about, They're talking about how I probably I won't may, may not go as high this year as I would have last year. I think that uh, it doesn't matter. It does, the draft's not really as important as getting into the league and being able to play. And I feel uh, much more prepared now than I, than I would have been last year.